Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA Used Car Guide with this month's market update. New vehicle deliveries rose for the ninth straight month in October, rising by 6% for the month and are up over 5% year to date. The seasonally adjusted annual rate of 16.35 million units was on par with September and is up almost 8% compared to a year ago. Incentives helped fuel the sales pace again, with October marking the 21st consecutive month of annual incentive growth. Today, incentive spending stands 8% higher than it was over the same period last year at $2,700. 6% higher than last October, but down by about $250 compared to September. As is typical for the period, new vehicle day supply increased substantially from September to October, rising by 11 days to reach 75 days of supply. However, supply dropped slightly on an annual basis, falling one day from 2013's level of 76. On the used side of the market, increasing late model use supply, combined with expected seasonal declines, resulted in another soft month for used prices in October. On average, wholesale prices for vehicles up to eight years in age fell by nearly 4% compared to September. This is the fourth month in a row with depreciation at or above 3%. NADA expected the downward trend, but the declines have been more severe than we anticipated. October's performance pulled NADA's seasonally adjusted used vehicle price index down by three-tenths of a point from September to 121. Manufacturer incentives likely played less of a role in dampening used prices in October than in the prior three months, but while incentives moderated, the number of late model units sold at auction continued to expand. Consisting mostly of off-rental vehicles, 2014 model year volume surged by 37% over the four-week period ending October 27th to nearly 54,000 sales. Until recently, the supply of 2013 and 2014 model year vehicles have been trending well below like-age vehicles from last year. Over the past several weeks, however, 2013 and 2014 model year volume has drifted higher, rising by an average of 14% compared to the same period of time last year. So not only has late model volume grown substantially over the past couple of months, but volume also has been materially higher than what was recorded last year. In general, segments where the influx of late model supply has been the greatest have experienced the largest decline in prices. At the top of the list sits the mid-sized van segment, where volume for 2013 and 2014 model year units has nearly tripled since the end of summer. In fact, 2014 mid-sized van volume grew by nearly 41% last month and comprised 10% of all 2014 model auction sales in October. Significant, giving the segment small share of overall new vehicle sales. This swell of supply helped pull prices for the segment down by just over 5% compared to September. And over the past two months, prices for the group have nosedived by a combined total of 9%. Although not quite as dramatic, auction volume of 2013 and 2014 model year subcompact and compact cars grew by a combined average of 15%. This, along with falling gas prices, helped drive overall prices for the two segments down by slightly over 4% apiece. Similarly, late model year supply jumped by 13% for both compact and large utilities, while overall prices for the two fell by around 3.5%. Late model volume for mid-sized cars actually fell slightly last month, but that didn't prevent prices from falling by a sharp 3.6%. Price and volume movement for remaining segments was generally less severe. On the mainstream side of the market, mid-sized utility prices fell by nearly 3%, a figure in line with the segment's previous three-year average, and right in line with NADA's forecast. Large pickup prices remain the strongest of all non-luxury segments for the sixth consecutive month as prices fell by only 2%. As for luxury segments, prices of mid-size and compact luxury cars fell by roughly 2.5% apiece, while luxury mid-size and compact utility prices fell less than 2% apiece. After four consecutive months of depreciation averaging around 3%, luxury large cars declined, slowed significantly in October to only half a percent, 
a figure significantly lower than the segment's prior three-year average of nearly 3.5%. Depreciation generally moderates from November through January before prices begin their annual rise through the spring. Looking ahead through the end of 2014, NAD expects depreciation to slow to a rate of 2.5 to 3% in November before decreasing to a, a rate of roughly 1.5% in December. By comparison, depreciation hit 2% and 1% in November and December of 2013. Keeping with recent trends, losses in November are expected to be most severe for mid-sized vans, subcompact and compact cars, and luxury cars. Depreciation for the group is expected to be at or above the high end of our forecast. Depreciation for mid-size cars and compact and mid-size utilities, both mainstream and luxury, is expected to range from 2 to 2.6%. Prices for the industry's best performing segment for the past two plus years, large pickups are expected to fall by less than 2%. For additional market insight, please download November's edition of Guidelines. Thanks for watching.